Creek. Let's see if I can catch a fish for dinner. Oh, it's gonna be a pork chop. Loads of uh, water, really high water. Normally here it's just like uh, two and a half meter wide. Now it's at least double that. I used to I used to stand out there somewhere. <laughs> here comes all the sheep. I think they could hear me. <laughs> yeah, now they're all quiet. Cook, cook. <laughs> Everybody's staring. <laughs> yeah, apple pie. It's not, it's, it's lacking like 50 centimeters, but uh, that's all right. Now this is in place. Look what I got my hands on. Samples on colored or pre-dyed cement for my chinking gaps. Now the big question is which type of collar should I choose? I don't want the outside uh, made with just normal grey cement. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go yellowish or reddish um, but uh, yeah, it's not going to be green or screaming red like this. Uh, but I'll see if if uh, if I can put these up between the gaps, the chinking gaps, and maybe get a better understanding on uh, which color is suitable. Now I lined up 13 different colors there, but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna go yellowish or reddish. I like this one and uh, I like this one as well. 
but any colour in between also so <laughs> that's a difficult question which one to choose yeah I'm trying to narrow it down a bit Oh, we're down to six. Yeah, it's very difficult. But I moved it up. I moved them around to the front so I can see compared to this. This one and this one and this one those three are gonna go so now it's down to these five and I think this is too pale it's a bit reddish and this here is yeah, a little bit more but I got two yellowish and two reddish it, I, I moved them around here because I want to see them in different kind of light yesterday I had really dark skies and uh, some part sunshine as well and today is like partly over clouded but it's not thick sky so the sun can shine through and there are blue patches and I wanted to see how it looked when it was uh, yeah sunset and when it was dark uh, last night um, to see how much the color ch if the color changed a lot in the look um, during yeah a, a 24 hour span and uh, these four are gone so now I'm down to these four this one has a slight reddish and maybe also a bit yellow this color this is yeah reddish of course and these two are more yellow but uh, it's a bit I was thinking uh, when I get all my cobblestones down and the color of the dirt I think maybe it's gonna I think this is gonna go as well it's uh, it's too much of a yeah I know the the camera the color on the camera is not it's actually a little bit too bright um, this is like uh, uh, yeah you know bricks when they can be all red or darker red and light uh, rosy red and this is that this one is like rosy red and I don't want that so now it's in these here and yeah, now I, I'm uh, milling floorboards and I'm about to uh, plane one so and the light changes all the time so I'm I'm walking back and forth planing and looking at these to decide which way in color I think maybe I'm gonna go with this but this could also yeah these two could also be nice uh, yeah what to choose
Yes. There you go. Got sawdust all over. Yeah, I can't decide if I'm gonna go in the red tones or in the yellow tones. I think the yellow tones will look great when it weathers even more yeah the red tones could as well but the red tones also mix in with the cobblestones i'm gonna have lying around and or maybe i should just go for a more neutral color like this yeah well, I'll play in another floorboard. <laughs> Next one ready. Time for one of the wider ones. Yeah. And I couldn't remember how long it was, but luckily it's one of those that's 625 for the bottom floor the boards need to be uh, f around 5 meters 65 so this is great I love these big ones now I'm gonna cut the length but in, uh, here in Sweden in the old days it was tradition to cut them like yeah i think they're called directly translated uh wedge shaped so you get as much of the width of the board uh, as possible when you cut them so they are not straight or the same it'll be like this and then you just swap them around from side to side and uh, i think i'm gonna do that with with uh, the rest of my boards um yeah also also because i like to to use the old swedish tradition when cutting floorboards. It's, it's heavy.
here. Look how much I have to lift this end. If I only cut to the size I can get down here, I waste half the width in that end. So it's going to be wedge cut. That was uh, the first one cut this way. This is a nice board. There was a couple of others I could have done the same. Uh, I wish I had. I would have a lot wider boards. Yeah. yeah I, this end down there is like this. If I had caught it so it was same width all the way, I would lose this much. <laughs>